My new racket's coming in today. Up until now, I have never bought my own new racket. Every racket I've used has been a hand-me-down of some sort. In my last video, you saw that I was using the Prince. It was my dad's old Prince. The strings on that racket are literally 20 years old. I have no idea what kind of strings are on it. As Providence would have it, I was using that racket last night and the strings finally broke the day before my new racket is coming in the mail. I have one other racket. It's an old head Radical S. It's one of the lower end radicals but my new racket is coming in today. It's not here yet, but I am so excited. I've been using various demo rackets for over a month now. Of all the rackets I tried, I just seem to feel the most comfortable with this one. As you can see from these clips playing Nick a couple of weeks ago, I had confidence shooting these top spin shots around Nick when he was at the net. And you can see that the shots went in with pretty good precision there. Just a quick update on where I am. I had mentioned in a previous video that Nick and I were going to play in a doubles tournament that was UTR rated. That was my first time playing in any kind of tournament that was rated. It was a small tournament. It wound up being a round robin kind of thing, which means that you just, no matter if you lose or not, you have an opportunity to play everybody once. So Nick and I played a total of four matches. Each match consisted of best of three sets and each set was up to four games rather than six to help them go a little quicker. So he and I lost our first two matches and we were not quite on our game. We really sort of blew those matches ourselves. And then we won the next two, which we were really proud of. We loosened up and we just played and we played well and it wound up being a lot of fun. So as far as that goes from my personal rating, I found out that each person has a doubles rating and a singles rating. For that tournament, I got my first doubles rating. It's a four UTR. At first, when you get a UTR rating, it's not that reliable because it doesn't have much of a history to go off of in terms of your winning or losing. So up till now, I still don't have a singles rating, but this weekend I'm going to a tournament, uh, same place. And as of right now, there's over 20 guys signed up. So it's a decent sized tournament and I will get my official UTR singles rating to see exactly where I am as a solo player. I'm gonna get some practice sessions in with this new racket after it comes in, be able to take it to that tournament. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, one last thing. I wrote a book recently. I'm finalizing it right now, going through the editing process, and I will be releasing it on Amazon in the next about a month. Don't hold me to that. There's no solid release date at this time, I think it will be before November, that is my goal. If not, definitely before the new year, but I will give some more information on that in later videos. Keep an eye out. Here it is, just came in. About to open it up. Here it is. It is the Head Graphene 360 Plus Gravity Pro. Head is the manufacturer. I don't know if you could see this, Graphene 360 Plus. I think that's a compound that they put in a lot of their rackets. Gravity is the line of this racket and Pro is the type of racket within Gravity. So I played with this as a demo before, really enjoyed it. It's the one you saw me playing with a second ago in that video with Nick. The string I have on it is Solinko Hyper G 17 gauge and I have it stringed at 50 pounds. This thing looks sweet in person. I don't know how good it looks on camera to you right now, but it looks even better than what I had seen before. Maybe I'm just excited about it. Now I ordered this racket before I knew this, but this is actually the racket that Alexander Zverev uses, who is a young professional, and he just played in the finals of the US Open recently. So it is pretty cool to know that this racket is one that a very high level pro is using. From what I understand, he even helped design it. Something I think is really cool about this racket is you'll notice a color contrast. There's the hot and cold. That is unique to this racket. I think it's a nice touch. It's subtle, but it's aesthetically pleasing. I think it's cool because the different colors on the two sides remind me of something that Federer said. Fire, because you have to have fire in the belly and do your best to win every point. Ice in the veins, because you have to be cool and calm and composed in the most intense moments. 
So that's all I have for the video today. I just wanted to give you all an update of where I am, show you my new racket, and I'll be giving some updates soon on my play with the racket, how I'm enjoying it, and that tournament coming up. Thanks for watching.